You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. What does well-being truly mean? And once we achieve it, what's next? Welcome to Vital Points with your host, Fodi Sardellis. Fodi, through a multitude of paths and tools, will help you on your journey to complete wellness. So now, please welcome the host of Vital Points, Fodi Sardellis. Hey, welcome. I'm your host, Fodi Sardellis. You're listening to Vital Points right here on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So... Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about environmental toxins and how to avoid them. I know it's really depressing, but um, it's not so bad. Um, it's not so bad if you know what to look for. Um, so uh, last week, we talked a little bit about um, how to optimize assimilation and digestion and absorb nutrients a little bit better. Um, and one of the key things that you want to do I believe to optimize your health is um, avoid a lot of things. So there's a lot of things that you want to avoid just generally when thinking about what you're going to eat today, um, salads, you know, food, produce, they're all really, um, they really have a lot of pesticides. Okay. So pesticides is going to be number one. Um, but really, um, there's a lot of bad stuff in mostly animal products. So the animal products is something you have to really look closely at. So if you're going to eat anything organic at all it, or grass-fed you know, or wild-caught, it should be animal products because they're going to have the most uh, toxic you know, burden um, in the form of um, – it's going to be pesticides because the animals are not eating organic food. They're just eating grains. They're just eating soy, corn. Uh, what are they eating? Alfalfa, um, usually genetically modified stuff. So that's an extra thing you want to look for is organic means not genetically modified and it will have significantly less pesticides on it. So the animals are eating this feed. So if it says organic meat or organic fish or something, well, fish you should probably get wild caught because um, I'm not sure. I've never seen – I'm not sure I've ever seen organic fish in the grocery store. But wild caught is probably what you want to go with um, – and usually it's better to get smaller fish because the larger fish like tuna and swordfish, you know, they have a large lifespan. So they have um, bioaccumulation. So they have bioaccumulation of toxins and heavy metals from the ocean um, like mercury in their bodies. Um, so if you are looking for a good source of protein – uh, and you like tuna and everything, I would recommend going with maybe smaller fish like sardines or something like that or maybe mackerel or salmon is okay. It's a, like not an enormous fish. But bioaccumulation is something that happens in us too, bioaccumulation of toxins. So the more you eat that stuff, the more you're going to accumulate things like heavy metals um, and you know, yet we have all these people just turning up with fatigue and chronic stress and gastrointestinal problems and poor sleep. So that's one of the reasons, one of the reasons why, um, 
the um, you are you might experience these kinds of symptoms. So one of the great resources that I always recommend is the Environmental Working Group. If you go to ewg.org, you can find tons of information about how to avoid chemicals and pesticides um, and other things in um, your food, in your home care products. I mean, the you really kind of have to be d- diligent. Once you start thinking about all the things you get exposed to, whether it's uh, just looking under your sink in the kitchen, you're probably going to find all kinds of chemicals. So this kind of stuff, you're spraying it all around. You don't really want it. Um, you don't really want that stuff in your body. Um, we're finding that you know it's, it's hazardous. It's, it's associated with cancer, hormonal disruptions, um, endocrine disruptions, right? So, so, okay, so okay. Everybody says like, oh, your organic food is really expensive. Well, you're gonna pay anyway. Like, at, it's worth it to have significantly lower levels. Um, of pesticides on your food and it's it's not all food so one of the reasons i like uh the environmental working group is because they put out a list of uh, food that you should definitely get organic products and produce and then some foods that might be conventionally grown that actually require less uh, chemicals to grow so you could probably get away with uh, eating them without too much, um, without worrying too much about the pesticides, um, without them being organic. So, just looking at that list, number one on the dirty dozen list, right? So, these are foods that you definitely want to get organic are going to be strawberries. So, um, one strawberry sample contained an astounding 22 pesticide residues and one third of all conventional strawberry samples contained 10 or more pesticides so that's a lot that's a lot um and the people that are most at risk really are going to be children children are going to be especially susceptible to uh, negative effects um including um, developmental problems, um, emotional problems, gastrointestinal problems, and things like that. It's also linked to cancer. So um, some other things on the list are spinach. And we know, you know, we should definitely get our spinach and our greens um, organic and preferably grown in the United States. Um, As you know... Lately, there have been some contaminants and everything on the greens coming out of Mexico. They've got some irrigation issues or something. But 97% of conventional spinach samples contained pesticide residues. That's that's like all of them, 97%. Um, conventional spinach had relatively high concentrations of permethrin a neurotoxic insecticide so you know you're trying to be healthy you're trying to get a salad you know and uh you're eating a a neurotoxic insecticide you know um and then you're wondering why why can't i think straight why why do i have brain fog um nectarines about 94 percent of the nectarine samples had um, two or more pesticides. Uh, one sample of conventionally grown nectarines contained about 15. Apples are really, really bad. Most of them are covered in pesticides. Uh, 80% of apples tested contained diphenyl... Di- I can't even say that one. Diphenylamine, a pesticide banned in Europe. So if there's anything you can get that's imported from Europe, you're probably better off getting food from Europe. Or maybe just move to Europe if you can do that. No, I'm just kidding. You can just you can you can figure out ways to to be healthy in the United States. 
Um, so when we come back, I'm going to go on a little bit longer about all these different foods and pesticides and things you can do. Um, Fody Sardellis, you're listening to Vital Points on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. We'll be right back. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of Weight No More Consulting, Deborah Simons, can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know. I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Dupula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis drives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Hey, I'm Fody Sardellis. So you're listening to Vital Points right here on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So we're just going over some foods you should definitely get organic when you go shopping. Um, So the ones that are extra laden with pesticides and herbicides and insecticides and all these different sides, um, strawberries, spinach, nectarines, apples, definitely get organic grapes. They contain an average of about five pesticides or so, more than 96% of conventional grapes test positive for pesticide residues. So guess what that means? You should probably get organic wine too. Oh no, I love wine. Or maybe import, maybe imported might be better if it's from Italy, you know, anyway, or from France um, or from Greece. Greek wine is probably one of the, the best. Um, let's see, peaches. Where I'm from down here, we have a lot of peaches here being Alabama, the south. Um, so, yeah, 99% of conventional peaches have detectable pesticide residue, an average of four pesticide residues were detected on conventional peaches. That's like all of them, right? So what do you do? Like peel them, got to wash them. I would peel them. I would definitely peel peaches. Um, But the thing is they don't grow. They don't grow. There are these bugs down here. They just kill the peaches they like hatch their little seeds in there and they the peaches they just fall off so you know i was wondering about that what what do we do and i went to this garden center the guy says you got to spray malathion on it i was like no i'm not spraying malathion on it so don't spray malathion on your produce i guess i mean if you want peaches there's other ways I'm going to get into those other ways a little bit later. Um, So cherries are something else that you want to watch out for. Get that organic. Always get organic cherries. Um, Most samples had, uh, let's see, 
iprotione, a pesticide not allowed in Europe, which may cause cancer. Um, let's see. So, I mean, if you can't really pronounce the name of this chemical, it probably means you shouldn't eat it. Um, because it's not like not exactly an ingredient that I would like a spice or something that I would want to sprinkle on my salad. Um, pears contain several pesticides in relatively high concentrations, including insecticides and fungicides. More than half of the conventionally grown pears tested had residues of five or more. I mean, this is a lot. It's too much. And then you think you're eating healthy. Um, you know, just eating like I'm just eating fruits and vegetables and and a lot of this other stuff. Uh, tomatoes, those definitely need to, need to be organic. About four pesticides or so. You know, one sample of conventional tomatoes contain about 15, you know, pesticides and and breakdown products. A bunch of other stuff. Celery, celery is something you want to look out for. Um, like a lot, there's like 95%. So, I mean, I guess this stuff doesn't even grow without pesticides, or does it? I mean, how does organic stuff grow, right? Is it just more expensive? Is it just cheaper? Um, so, so, I mean, you know, it is a little bit overwhelming. Um, it's a little bit overwhelming. I'm overwhelmed right now just looking at it and just reminding myself of... Um, all this stuff that's going on, whether it's just like spraying with this airplane just all over the place, just chemicals. I mean, where's that going? It's going into the water. You know, it's going into the soil. They're messing up. It's like killer chemicals, so it's just killing all the bacteria and the good stuff in the soil. All that stuff is supposed to give you nutrients. All the, the, the fungi in there is like covering the little roots, you know, breaking down nutrition from the soil, putting it in the, putting it in the plant. The plant's sucking that up, and then we eat it. Um, so, you know, these uh, conventionally grown pro this produce probably is actually less nutritious. And then once they're done with that area, you know, the soil is probably just completely messed up, just covered in this stuff. So, yeah, not cool. Um, potatoes are something that's, uh, you know, I would definitely get organic potatoes every single time. I mean, it's a root. It's under the ground. It's just going to absorb everything. It's really juicy. They had more pesticide residues by weight than any other crop, right? That's like, I mean, potatoes. So, okay, one pesticide in particular, what was it called? Chlor, chloprofam makes up the bulk of pesticides detected. Okay, so chlorprofam is in those potato chips and all that other stuff. Um, sweet bell peppers, um, about 90% of those are, they had pesticides. And sweet bell peppers can contain fewer pesticide residues than other dirty dozen foods. But this is a dirty dozen list, by the way, from the EWG. Dot org, but the pesticides tend to be more toxic to human health. And then we got hot peppers too. Nearly three quarters of hot pepper sample contain pesticides. And hot peppers on this list um, because they 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 contain more toxic, more toxic uh, pesticides. But you know, it's okay. There's also good news because some crops don't need that that many pesticides and one of my favorites one of my favorites is avocados avocados you can probably get away with eating them um you know conventional you don't have to get organic avocados so just go ahead and enjoy uh when we come back from the break i'm gonna give you the breakdown of the rest of these awesome choices at the grocery store. Um, I'm Fody Sardellis. You're listening to Vital Points on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio.
We'll be right back. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com. Dot com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, jobsannex.com is your resource for career-minded people. Jobsannex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at jobsannex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. Jobsannex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Hey, welcome back. I'm Fadi Sardellis. You're listening to Vital Points right here on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So before the break, we were just going over some of the foods that you can probably get away with um, not getting organic, right? Because I know in some areas, they don't even have organic food, like especially outside big cities and more rural areas. I mean, I know down here where I live, there's <clears throat> tons of um, tons of areas, you know, where people just, you know, they, they don't have organic food. I am excited to see uh, more organic food, though, around, like in places like Walmart, you know. I think Walmart probably has tons of organic food now, and they they didn't like five years ago. So that's really good. Um, but one of the uh, some of the foods that you can get that they don't really have to be organic because the they don't really need tons of pesticides and herbicides to grow are avocados. Right, I love avocados. I recommend eating avocados every day, um, especially if you can get them produced like in the United States. If they're like from Florida or something, that'd probably be awesome. Um, some of them in Florida, they're like big. They're really, really big. Um, I'd never seen those before, but recently I came upon some Florida avocados and they're enormous. Um, not what you're used to. Uh, but fewer than 1% of conventional avocados tested positive for pesticides, like less than 1%. Okay, so only one pesticide was found on any of the 360 avocados sampled. Corn, they do have corn on this list, and it's this is the Environmental Working Group's Clean 15 list. You can find it on ewg.org. They do say sweet corn doesn't really need a lot of pesticides, but I wouldn't get it personally. I wouldn't get uh, conventionally grown corn because most of the corn in the United States is genetically modified. So it's probably like Roundup Ready or something, which means that it has like pesticides genetically engineered into the cells that you can't wash off. You know, um, if you take genetically modified corn and just throw it outside, you know, probably nothing's going to eat it. Uh, it'll just sit there. Probably not even mold. Um, so I don't know if you want to eat that. Um, that's just my personal preference. Um, I would get organic corn anyway. But 
pineapples you can probably get away with. Actually, I haven't, ever, I haven't even never seen organic pineapples. They're always just conventional. But 90% of conventional pineapples had no detectable pesticide residues. Only about five different pesticides were detected on more than 350 pineapple samples. So it's, it's not the worst. Um, cabbages are okay. Um, I mean, they're really hardy. You know, they just grow. They grow in the winter, they grow in the summer, whenever you want. Only two or more than 700 cabbage samples contained more than one pesticide residue. 86% of cabbages sample contained no pesticides, which is great. Onions, um, that's good too. And that's interesting. I guess they just, they're just really strong, so they don't need any pesticides or herbicides, less than 10%. Of the conventional onion samples contained any pesticide residues. No conventional onion samples contained more than three. Um, sweet frozen peas, that's okay too. Um, that's a nice starchy vegetable you can eat for extra carbs if you're like on a low carb diet and you need to exercise more. Peas are always great. Um, 80% of that. Uh, didn't have any pesticides on it. So no sample of frozen peas contained more than one or two. The um, next one on the list is papaya. Um, so papaya grows without a lot of pesticides. 80% of it didn't have any. Um, I would get organic papaya if it was like from Hawaii because most of the Hawaiian papaya, I think, in the past has been genetically modified. So I'm not really a fan of uh, genetically modified food, you know, because I'm not really interested in what that might do or experimenting with uh, with that on my body. I mean, people say people there's like all kinds of views, but that's just my personal preference. Rather not. Um, but uh, none of the nearly 750 samples of conventionally grown papayas tested contain more than two or three pesticides. That's not bad. Um, plus anything that has like a really strong peel, you know, you can just peel it. Um, so that should be that should be okay. Um, asparagus, 90% was um, was pretty good, no detectable residues and you can always wash it and one of the you want to wash it anyway um because they might have one or two pesticides on there and you don't really want to get any so um a great way is to just soak it soak your produce in like some vinegar water a lot of these are s soluble with the acid so the acid will kind of clean it off if there's anything on there um Mangoes. Mangoes are decent. You can get those too. Um, conventional. About 80% of those contain no pesticides. No more than two um, were detected on any conventionally grown mangoes in USDA tests. Eggplants. Those are okay too. Um, I don't know if you like eggplants, but you can make them, um, you can bake them or just do them in the pan, just slice them up. Um, you can make moussaka. That's one of my favorite Greek dishes. Look it up. Eggplants. About three-fourths of all conventional eggplants tested contained no pesticide residues. Yay! No more than three pesticide residues were detected on any sample of conventionally grown eggplant. Honeydew melons. You can get away with that, you know. Um, about half of that. That had no half of those tested had no pesticides. That's good news. Melons are great, especially in the summer. I think they're in season right now. Um, no more than four pesticides and breakdown products were detected on these honeydew melons. Kiwis, I love kiwis. They're they're like one of my favorite fruits ever. Um, really high in vitamin C. 65% of kiwi samples had no detectable pesticide residues. Um, only about six different ones were detected. But get, probably get those organic anyway. When we come back, we're going to go on a little bit more about this and 
about some uh, other reasons why we should eat organic. I'm Fody Sardellis. You're listening to Vital Points on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Introducing BetterHomeAndGarden.com. That's www.BetterHomeAndGarden.com with just the letter N in Better Home and Garden. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the highest quality products on the market that are environmentally safe and effective and to make them available to you at the lowest possible prices. BetterHomeAndGarden.com understands that kind of creativity and do-it-yourself attitude. Thus, we developed our website, BetterHomeAndGarden.com. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the following products right online. Bath, bedding, collectibles, craft, sewing and hobby, food and beverage, furniture, home decor, kitchen and dining, lamps and lighting, large appliances, musical instruments, outdoor cooking, patio items, pet supplies, plant and garden, rug and floor covering, small appliances, travel and luggage, and so much more. Better Home and Garden is an online retailer offering a wide variety of high-quality brand name merchandise at discount prices. Our service is personal and we aim to please. Visit us at www.betterhomeandgarden.com. Make your home your own. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia daly Lipe is a renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses, keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com. Com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Hey, I'm Fody Sardellis. You're listening to Vital Points on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So a few more of those um, um, ingredients and produce on the list that you can probably get away with without too much toxic burden from pesticides, herbicides, and other random chemicals that are sprayed on them are... Cantaloupes, okay, so that's not too bad. You can get those uh, conventionally grown, and it wouldn't be too bad. I love cantaloupes. They're a little sweet, but they're delicious. More than 60% of conventional cantaloupe samples contain no detectable pesticide residues. That's cause for celebration. Only about 10% of cantaloupe samples contain more than one pesticide. Cauliflower. Cauliflower, I think, has been pretty clean. About half of all conventionally grown cauliflower contain nothing. No single cauliflower sample contain more than three. I'm about to go get some cauliflower right now. Um, broccoli. 70% of broccoli samples had no detectable pesticide residues. Only one in 10 broccoli samples contained more than one pesticide residue. So, okay, so you don't want to have any pesticides in your food. There's more on that list. Go check it out on the Environmental Working Group's website. That's awg.org. So we really want to avoid this stuff. It's not just in the food. I mean, mostly you should definitely get organic food. That is, animal products should be organic. If it is meat, it should be grass-fed. If it's like red meat, chickens or whatever, um, <clears throat> grass-fed or grass, grass finished. I just learned this recently. People talk about grass finished because it means like they only ate grass. I don't know. I, I, that's new to me, but I thought I might mention that because apparently they were just feeding the animal like a, whatever and then feeding it grass for three weeks and then putting a label on it said grass fed. Um, but if it's organic, it means that, yeah, maybe it didn't eat grass all the time, but it ate uh, grains or something. But it ate organic grains, so it doesn't have all these other pesticides in there, and it wasn't it wasn't genetically modified either. So that's what it's supposed to be. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. You know, you never know, but I would bet that it's better. Um, so organic food. Now the eggs, eggs. If you eat eggs, they should probably be pasture raised um 
you know, because they say cage free or something like that, that's, it's like, it's not true, basically. I mean, they're still in some kind of confined space. They're just not like this. They're not like surrounded by a, a little box. They're not like completely confined, but they're still pretty cramped. So they're not exactly uh, free range or anything like that. So, um, so animal products definitely want to avoid um, the hormones because it has hormones in it. It's not only just the pesticides, it's hormones, it's antibiotics. And the hormones are – and all of these chemicals, I mean, what are they doing, right? They're, they're interrupting your body's natural just systems, uh, endocrine, like hormones. Like these chemicals are usually – they might mimic estrogen a lot of the time. So they're going to – mess with your they're going to mess with your thyroid that a lot of these extra hormones are, have been linked to certain cancers um they're gonna throw your um endocrine system off so you might have more stress more like less more more fatigue for men you know weird uh, menstrual cycle like irregular uh, estrogen dominance because it's a lot of stuff that mimics estrogen. The pesticides mimic estrogen. The uh, the hormones like they're straight up estrogen um, injected into animals. You've got um, um, you've got a lot of soy and stuff like that. Soy products like and soy is going to be pretty much ubiquitous in all of almost all of the processed grains and foods and processed foods. So it's going to be in like the form of soy oil. Um, it's going to be soy, corn, you know, cottonseed, canola. So these are cooked vegetable, you know, genetically modified oils that you really want to avoid. They're, they're oxidized when they're exposed to heat. They're high in pesticide content. They're genetically modified and they'll cause inflammation. They'll just cause inflammation in your cells. What you really want to focus on is healthier fats, healthier fats like, I don't know, avocados, olive oil, coconut oil, grass-fed butter. Butter is really good. Um, it's got vitamin A, omega-3, it's vitamin K2, so, and a lot of other things and fatty acids. So these are going to be good if you want to cook with the fat Preferably maybe coconut oil or something like that, maybe a, a saturated fat and butter. Don't cook with olive oil because if you heat it up, you're breaking it down. It's not as healthy anymore. You know, you buy it in a dark container because just light oxidizes it. Um, even air oxidizes it. So, I mean, it might taste a little better sometimes when it's a little bit oxidized, but it's not healthier. Uh, and it's definitely going to be oxidized when you cook with it. So just pour that over your salad fresh and make sure it's like from um, – uh, There's there was like a scandal recently with the olive oil. So some of them are just mixed and adulterated and they're not really olive oil. So make sure you get real olive oil, um, cold pressed, and usually the ones that come from Greece are excellent quality. So – Healthy fats also, you know, from nuts and seeds, those are good. Um, you want to make sure those are organic too most of the time as well. Um, those are healthy fatty acids, omega-3s that are really important for cardiovascular health, uh, brain health, uh, nerve support system. And um, they really just keep you full. You, they keep you full. You don't have to eat 30 times a day. So that's one of the things that uh, is an issue when we're eating you know these processed refined foods that have all these rancid oils in them they they just break down into sugar and sugar it's the dose really that makes the poison and we're just getting a little bit way too much of of that it's just too easily accessible it's too easily accessible and uh, it has the same effects on your liver as as alcohol you know and we're, you can't give your kids uh, sugar all the time, you know, and soft drinks and stuff like that without them having all kinds of emotional problems, blood sugar issues. So you end up with things like diabetes and, and poor cardiovascular health, all because of so much of the sugar. So when we come back, I'm going to talk a little bit more about how to maintain a healthy blood sugar um, and avoid diabetes. Um, 
just by following the simple guide. Um, Bodhi Sardellis, you're listening to Vital Points right here on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. Jenny Friend is a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified clinical sexologist, commonly known as a sex therapist, with over 30 years of experience in the field of sexuality. She's been a researcher and teacher and is further trained in human development over the lifespan. She's also a published author and a radio personality. Her specialized training in lifespan developments means she can help individuals, couples, and families through difficult developmental phases. Her primary ways of working are through the tools of cognitive, behavioral, and psychoenergetics theories and techniques. Couples, individual men and women, and families are also welcome. She can meet in her office in Costa Mesa, California, or on the Internet through Skype at Jenny Friend MFT. Call 714-210-9200. You can also send an email from her website at www.centerforclarity.org. That phone number again is 714-210-9200. Are you looking? Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at JobsAnnex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. JobsAnnex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. Welcome back. I'm Fody Sardellis. You're listening to Vital Points on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. So just going over some um, environmental toxins, right? So um, a lot of the pesticides you want to get, you want to get organic food most of the time, um, especially animal products um, due to all the hormones in those as well as well as antibiotics. And a lot of these pesticides actually act like antibiotics. Um, so, I mean, guess what's going to happen if you just keep taking antibiotics every day? Um, I mean, they're just going to kill your natural gastrointestinal bacteria, the healthy ones. So those... Uh, we, we're starting to learn more and more about all this bacteria and how it affects our health and like the brain gut connection and most of these little guys down in there, they're like, they're eating fiber. So feed them fiber, feed them fiber free from pesticides, um, seven to 10 cups of vegetables a day. That's what I recommend uh, just to get an adequate amounts of potassium minerals and everything else, all the vitamins that you need. You want to get them from food, uh, not not really from supplements all the time. Maybe food concentrates if you need to get a supplement for some reason. Um, so they act like antibiotics. So um, if you destroy all this beneficial bacteria, you're going to cause more inflammation. Causing more inflammation in the gastrointestinal tract. You know, these guys, they protect. They they create vitamins. They create serotonin. They create vitamin K out of this insoluble fiber. So if you're eating uh, bread made in cheese all the time, you know, you're not feeding them. The, the toxic burden is just killing them. Nine out of ten cells in our body are like bacteria. They're not even human. So we're just like an ecosystem walking around. So... Really, we, we, we need to actually recognize that this is actually happening. We need to feed our bodies healthy food that doesn't have any other stuff that's going to interrupt normal processes. Everything's going to fall into place just like it's supposed to, just by nature. I don't make my heart beat. I don't tell my lungs to breathe. Things are just going to fall into place. Just give your body the right 
kind of environment to thrive in, right? Something that doesn't have any interference. Because what are hormones, right? They're just a communication system. It's a way for your brain to send signals to your organs and your glands to perform certain functions based on what your nervous system is detecting. So, so um, give your body what it needs to function. Don't give it all this other stuff to block it up. These uh, xenoestrogens, right, like from plants and pesticides and chemicals. There's chemicals in the water. So one of the most important things is getting a, a filtration system. Um, you need you don't want to drink tap water. I mean, you're going to find all kinds of heavy metals in there depending on your area. I mean, look what's going on in like Flint industry is all over the place just pouring stuff into the water. I don't know what kind of regulations there are, but I'm not sure how awesome they are, okay? So you want to protect yourself. And uh, I like reverse osmosis filtration. that gets pretty much everything out. Maybe it leaves a few little minerals in there. You can do – you don't really want to do distilled water because that has zero anything in there. So that's kind of – that actually might be a little dehydrating. It'll pull minerals out of your body into the water. So if you get distilled water, which would actually be really clean, um, you want to add the minerals back by just maybe adding a little bit of uh, Himalayan rock salt, something like that. Himalayan pink salt has a lot of uh, trace minerals, most trace minerals that your body needs. So that's a really good thing to do. Just add, sprinkle some of that back. There's... Um, deionized water um but basically you need to invest in some kind of filtration fluoride you know you got to get the fluoride out it's like a byproduct of the aluminum industry i think and they just had tons of it i don't know why they're putting the water but um it's not good. It kind of pulls um, vitamin E out of your body. It pulls essential minerals and vitamins out of your body. So does chlorine. And now they're not even using chlorine. They're using like chlorine and ammonia, or chloramines and stuff like that, which is even worse. You know. So if you want to prevent any kind of weird stuff happening, uh, best drink reverse osmosis water. Get some kind of filtration system for your house because – uh, that stuff is pretty bad. It's pretty detrimental on your thyroid. It'll interfere with your metabolism. So guess what happens? You have a cascade effect, right? Your metabolism, your thyroid, the metabolic master gland, it just gets blocked up with uh, these estrogens, these pesticides. We're actually taking extra hormones for women, birth control, like extra estrogen. We're not really supporting the liver and the other organs to get that stuff out with lots of mineral complexes, dark leafy greens, vitamin C complexes from real food, vitamin B complex, um, not synthetic vitamins, just real food and food concentrates. So then you get inflammation in the gastrointestinal tract. You get pain, indigestion, bloating, Etc. Celiac disease, uh, leaky gut, IBS, autoimmune stuff starts to happen after that. You get your own immune system start attacking your own tissues um, because there's certain gaps that are forming in the intestines and certain proteins are leaking through. And the ones that leak through into your bloodstream more readily are the ones people have more problems with, which is going to be from... You know, the gluten proteins and and the lactose, and or not the lactose, but the protein in dairy. And, and you're going to have maybe even eggs sometimes. Um, so best, best keep um, that stuff out, prevent the inflammation, keep the metabolism strong, keep the absorption strong sites healthy boost absorption by boosting those little buddies in your gastro gastrointestinal tract in your colon to help you absorb more nutrients um so we're going to go to a short break again and when we come back we'll talk a little bit more about how to prevent these types of things 
uh, from happening. Um, I'm Fotis Ardellis. You're listening to Vital Points on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Patricia Fayeweather Harlow is passionate about the environment and conserving our natural resources. She's written a five-part book series for all ages called Rock with Rodney and Party with Perky to Preserve Wildlife, which brings awareness through these vibrant characters on preserving and protecting our national parks and historic landmarks. Harlow has launched a campaign to mobilize green supporters, informing a united front against big oil, big coal, and the Keystone XL pipeline. And she addresses the controversial practice of fracking in books four and five. She's determined to bring greater awareness to the dangers of drilling and running crude oil through pipelines that cut through pristine landscapes. And she empowers readers to take action in keeping America beautiful. To learn more about Patricia Fayweather Harlow and to purchase her books, visit www.patricia-fayweather-harlow.com. That's F-A-Y-E-R-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. And play your part in preserving the landscape that we all share and love. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to bonniegprabula.com and for astrology consulting, visit astrologyconsultants.com or call or email her at 808 526 1536 or Bonnie GP at AOL.com. Hey, welcome back. I'm Fody Sardellis. You're listening to Vital Points on the BBM Global Network and Tuned Radio. So, we're just talking about um, how a lot of these toxins just interfere with your overall body systems. And in Chinese medicine, right, this is what we do here traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and herbal herbal medicine and Chinese medicine theory it's all about keeping those channels open keeping the flow going keeping the chi and everything going strong so you don't really want anything interfering and blocking and messing with your hormones and your nervous system and your your body okay so um you want to keep the inflammation down in the gastrointestinal tract. And, you know, um, we do have anti-inflammatory hormones um, like stress hormones, right? Cortisol, estrogen. When you go, when you got like severe pain, you go to the doctor, they give you a cortisone shot. That's stress hormones. Um, that is steroids, which your body actually produce. Um, and they use... They actually use cholesterol to produce them, but you don't want you don't want that always firing. You don't want to have chronic inflammation, and most of the chronic inflammation that I see is coming from the diet. I'm um, I'm convinced that um, it's going to be environmental. You know, it's going to be chronic consumption of uh, things that your body just doesn't know what to do with, and it's going to be um, under nutrition. So not enough vitamins, not enough uh, minerals and, and nutrients and um, and all kinds of really good stuff and fresh, organic, clean produce. Now the best way to do it is grow, have a garden, and we really need to get back to planting a few things ourselves but the next best option is going to be organic food most of the time um, except for some you can get away with you can check out the clean 15 list by the environmental working group um, so animal products definitely want to get organic and grass fed and wild caught and pasture raised and 
definitely want to get some kind of water filtration system because, I mean, look at look at everything in the industry, right? Especially like the animal products and these concentrated animal feeding operations. I mean, they are dumping all that uh, waste, you know, from the animals into the water system, the rivers. I mean, and they're not even eating anything healthy. So all that stuff is in there too, whatever pesticides, herbicides, chemicals, and things like that. So these uh, chemical companies are just, they've just taken over the whole food supply system, you know. And I don't know if I want a chemical company, you know, producing the food that I'm going to be eating. Um, Because I want to be eating food, not chemicals. Um, so another source of toxicity is probably going to be the body care, the body care products. If you wouldn't eat it, just as a rule of thumb, if you wouldn't eat it, I wouldn't put it on. I wouldn't put it on your skin because your skin is going to absorb anything. It's going to absorb everything. So detergents, dishes, clothes. What do you wash your clothes with? You can just most of the time you just use baking soda, vinegar, lemon, citrus essential oils. That's what I recommend. But thank you so much for being here today. I'm really excited that uh, you actually care about what's going on and what you're eating and what's in the water and what's in the food. So please keep caring and keep making healthy decisions for yourself and your options. Um, Thank you so much. I'm Fodi Sardellis. You're listening to Vital Points on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Take care. You've been listening to Vital Points with your host, Fodi Sardellis. Join us each week as we share stories of healing in order to reach a higher level of wellness right here on Vital Points with Fodi Sardellis. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.